Good evening. It is uh, just gone 9 p.m. on Monday, the 5th of October, and it is time for today in my boot journal. So, how are you? Um, another long day, <laughs> but you know, shit happens. Right, yesterday I edited and uploaded today in my boot journal. I've also got black on my pen. Ugh. I went to sleep very, very late, tired, pissed off. Tired and pissed off. Dad didn't tidy his room. Right, we did that, we did that. Yeah, did that. Right, steps. I didn't do anything, did I, yesterday? I missed everybody's streams. So we're now on that week. Which means that week 40 is finished. So I can mark it off. Okay, change pen. This is another yellow, and it's not gonna look much different to you really, but it is a new pen, honest. <laughs> so, today I did my face and my day, my face and my day cream, my day face cream and my teeth. I did not wear makeup, I've not done my dress, I'm filming right now. Yay. I am knitting furiously on some socks. I've had caffeine, I've had booze, I've not had chips because we have pasta bolognese for dinner. I have crafted. We've not done a lot to be honest. Daryl did his teeth and made his bed. He's kept the lounge quite tidy and he's done his teeth. So that's good. Right, so I need to post my September mood and pain and then I'll be back. So today has been a little bit better. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. There's just some serious shit going on here at the moment. Um, I'd say my pain's probably about there. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, not something over. Again, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. But it was a slightly better sleep. Probably because I was half cut by the time I went to bed. <laughs> I feel a bit robbed with those two pens because they are so similar. You know, even like in front of me. I know colours often look similar on uh, on the camera but yeah even right in front of me they just look so so similar it's a bit like hmm you sent me two pens that's exactly the same <laughs> six of cups the six of cups is about helping people who are less fortunate than you okay that's not necessarily a monetary type thing okay that can be somebody who is struggling emotionally and mentally um monetary if you could if you could help in that department sorry um supporting you know there, there there are loads of ways that people are worse off or better off than than you may well be um if you are better off than somebody then maybe you could support those people in some way shape or form okay somebody's going through a bad patch you know could you be an ear to listen so on and so forth the trick is is to not rub it in their face especially if it's to do with money you know if, if you are financially better off than somebody and you know somebody's struggling then offer to help but not in a way that makes you come across as a complete and total shit, you know, like, oh, I'm rich, I'll give you a hand out. I've written, helping people is a wonderful thing to do, but don't be patronising. Did the loo. I did some laundry. The dishwasher has been on. I've worked, topped and sweeped. Blitzed my kitchen, actually. So... I need to turn the fruit, I have to go and do that. 
because I usually do it in the first sort of few days of the month and I haven't done it yet. Okay, um, I've missed April and Elle didn't stream today. So I actually neither did April, April's having a day off. So everybody cancelled. <laughs> um, we're not doing that tomorrow, um, mainly because there's just so much going on at the moment within our family drama. Um, so, junk track, do you know what? I can't remember what I showed you yesterday. I really can't. Uh, because it was very very late and I've slept since then <laughs> so yeah so this is what I've got so far um, I wrote here about Matt's tattoo this is a little tuck spot for a thing that come out of an Arrowverse DVD then I made this envelope and I didn't seal the envelope but it is a journaling spot I can't show you what's on there because it's private I'm afraid I also made this a tuck spot and um, had some cardstock which I backed with um, coffee dyed paper and I tore it all and just basically tore it and then inked around the edges and made this another tuck spot uh, another journaling piece here so that tucks away in there quite nicely I'm a bit uh, about what to do next really because I don't have any pictures to put in or anything like that so I'm a bit kind of stuck stuck as to what to do. I want to put that in my journal. I found this meme going around. So I, I saw it in um, I saw it in a, a journal video I was watching. I can't remember who it is. And I went to look for it because it cracked me up. It For those of you that haven't watched it, this is um, Dr. House. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly encourage you to watch House if you haven't seen it okay it's got Griffith Jones in it and it's fucking brilliant it is a fantastic series I'm seriously considering going back and watching it again um he's a, a, a doctor in a hospital he's a genius do you know what I mean and he's addicted to Vicodin and he works out all solutions on a whiteboard with his team and it says someone please get this man his Vicodin team and whiteboard so he can figure this COVID-19 out I thought that was fucking hysterical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my next page. And I think I'm literally just going to stick that down there. And then I'm going to back this with some washi and make it a journaling spot, I think. Um, and I'm going to do it in such a way that it's going to frame the outside, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is... I found the trick to tearing is to do it quite quickly and then it gives you she says it gives you a sort of roughish edge do you know what I mean when you've got to do a narrow bit that's a bit better be assertive <laughs> so I want it to sort of now I'd say I've already used glue on this side because this was what I used yesterday. This side's prettier anyway. So I want to go about, well let's tear it off about there. And then I want to do it about there. Sorry about that. Like so. Awesome. There, that looks good. So what I'm going to do now is um, get my Distress Ink. I use um, Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and that makes a nice sort of a light stain to it. This is what I use here on this envelope to give it that sort of nice and I used it on the edge of this it's only it's only very very faint do you know what I mean if you want it slightly darker then I would recommend ground espresso in fact I'll tell you what I'll show you the ground espresso on this bit of dyed paper just to really make it stand out so yeah that just makes it that little bit darker than um, the vintage photo does and then the idea is to stick that on there and I can use that as a journaling spot. I am going to, just to remove the white edges and then that can go there. And then what I will do is I will 
I might sort of just tuck that underneath that so that people will want to open it to find out what's in there. I'm going to stick it right in the middle because we in the UK here are possibly going to go back into a fucking lockdown soon. I know it blends a bit with the background but that's okay. I don't mind that. I'm going to use this pumpkin washi that's got bats and cats and witches' hats on it. I'm also going to edge this. I also want to grunge this a little bit so what I'm going to do is I am going to pull out my um, vintage photo and I'm just going to lightly sort of scuff the card with the dobber just makes it look a little bit older and a bit more tatty because I'm going for the whole vintagey Halloween look now this will cause my washi to have a bit of an issue sticking I've noticed this in the past so I'm just gonna give my washi a little bit of help here by using my glue stick run across the top of the washi, uh, top of the glue stick sorry. Make sure it is stuck down. Now I'm not going to flop it over because I actually want to see that washi so I'm just going to take it up to the edge of the page with the washi like so. Now I should stuck that paper down afterwards it's, oh well that'll do. So there you go. I can now use that as a little uh, journal spot. What's the date? It's the 5th. Oh, I've got that stamp to go in as well. I'm going to find a nice sticker. And it is the 5th. This is a stamp that came on some junk mail, uh, junk mail, some uh, a stamp subscription. stamps and I really like this I like this these numbers fit on these <laughs> and sent you a bingo card to you know give you something to sort of think about if you wanted to I spooched my glue I don't get people that can like glue on top of their projects without getting glue everywhere I always get glue everywhere the reason I stick that, I just like the stamp, I just think it's pretty, you know. So there we go, right, stick down. Oh, that is perfect. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? Because of Dr. House. I wonder if this will hold a uh, bit of a doohickey potion but it's just that's just screaming at me isn't it yeah no it didn't hold the staining never mind right so there we go that is that um so yeah that will go like that and then over like that loving how this is turning out so far it's really really good Never thought I would make as an interactive a journal as this. I don't know if it's something I could do every day. This, this is, I'm struggling to think of ideas, you know. So if you've got any ideas on sort of journaling, please do chuck them down below. Because sometimes I don't want to write a huge amount. I literally just want to say, you know, it was a shit day, which is pretty much what I'm going to write today. But <laughs> yeah. So. I'm debating whether to go round that with a pen or something. Because it's. I just realised my fucking Posca pens still haven't turned up. I ordered a load more Posca pens after having a play with them the other day. Um, let's do silver. And they were supposed to arrive by Saturday and they haven't, which is annoying to say the least. 
always 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 test your pens before splooging all over your project splooging it's <laughs> a good word I don't really know what else to do to make it stand out you know it's a bit annoying but I'll probably just leave that there I'll have to put pressure on this stamp because it's lifting ever so slightly. It'll be alright once I've closed it, I think. So yeah, I'm really, really proud of this so far. This is, I'm totally out of my comfort zone here, you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> it's good fun. Um, I think I, I, in future, I want, like last month, I would want one-sided sheets more so because it's a lot more places for me to write. I like to write in my journals. I like to detail my day. Um, I'm not a, a stick shit in for the sake of it. This is why this is out of my comfort zone because I'm sticking stuff in and I'm like, oh my God, do you know what I mean? I really, really like the envelope I did yesterday and I'm definitely gonna do that again. So I hope that is something you wanna see. I'm not getting a lot of feedback, um, you guys, in chat. So I really hope people are watching because, you know, um, I'm a bit worried at the moment. <laughs> so if you're there, could you say hi? Sandy's the only one that's commenting on every video at the moment. Thank you, Sandy. I really, really do appreciate that. So does Daryl. Um, so yeah, just, you know, say hi, guys. Tell me what you think. Are you liking this? Is this something that you want to see me do more of? Or are you just like, you're rubbish, stick to bullet journaling? <laughs> please give me feedback right i'm going now thank you very much for that uh have a fantastic rest of your day um don't forget comments questions suggestions feedback anything you want me to have a go at challenges you know you want to know what my bedtime routine is, anything like that any kind of question there's not much that i won't answer to be perfectly honest my life is an open book it's that book at the moment but there you go that all goes down below every comment gets a like a love or a written response unless it's obviously spam in which case you'll just get deleted um if you click the book down in the bottom right hand corner you will be subscribed if you hit the bell then it's, it's down there somewhere you'll then be notified says youtube when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today i really really do appreciate it I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in Tuesday's edition of Today in My Boo Journal. Take these guys. Bye.